In this video, we will provide you with an introduction to the show motion technology, along with a short demonstration about how it's used to identify normal and abnormal joint function. But simply, show motion is a revolutionary platform available for monitoring and improving quality in orthopedic treatment. Show motion evolved as an in-house tool used to validate and compare the results of two different rotator cuff repair techniques one being developed by NCS Lab. During this process, the creative engineers discovered a way to capture 3D motion data, display it on a screen, and then display on a graph capable of showing normal and abnormal bands of motion. With this ability to quickly and in real time identify normal and abnormal movements, we realized that this was a breakthrough with enormous implications. So how do you know when a baseball pitcher has reached their pitching limit? Or what is the best physical therapy treatment for a specific patient? And how do you know if your workout in the gym is helping or hurting you? And a surgeon may ask, which surgical procedure or implant is the best for my patient? Each of these questions can be answered because of the body's amazing ability to get the job done regardless of surgery, fatigue, injury, or misuse. This adaptation is known as compensation strategy, or what we call abnormal or pathological movements. Show motion pinpoints these abnormal movements and helps the user to better understand the best way to treat or address the condition. All of this is accomplished in a quick five-minute session that's non-invasive with no radiation exposure or lengthy detailed examination. Healthcare in the United States is shifting from a fee-for-service model to a quality-based model. Known as value-based healthcare, this shift requires all stakeholders to seek ways to deliver better quality while lowering cost. Current quality measures used by orthopedic surgeons costs the health system an estimated $4 billion per year, and many report inconsistent results in their efforts. To measure quality in orthopedics, we've relied on a variety of patient-reported outcome questionnaires that are largely based on subjective feelings and can produce varying results. In addition, a study published in 2017 titled Physical Therapists Collect Different Outcome Measures After Total Joint Arthroplasty as compared to most orthopedic surgeons, demonstrates an additional problem in the quality journey, that of consistency and objectivity in measurements throughout the continuum of care. First question is, what was the key feature of the technology that caught my interest? This is the door into evaluating so many opportunities. Uh, it's almost difficult to enumerate if you imagine uh, such as such as that, which allows uh, just a, an order of magnitude difference in your perception and objectification of the the function of this joint and, um, that we that we study. And the measurement process is simple and quick, and consists of positioning the sensors, calibrating the sensors, and repeating two basic movements. Sensor positioning doesn't require an exact placement. In fact, the software accounts for any positioning errors and is a straightforward process with color-coded guides. Here, we are demonstrating a bilateral upper limb analysis with sensors on each humerus, one on the thorax, one for each wrist, and one on the spine of each scapula. The software recognizes the presence of the sensors and calibration takes just a few seconds. The algorithm confirms the position on the patient and we're now ready to measure. The protocol consists of seven abduction-adduction movements and seven flexion movements in the sagittal plane. We've now captured an enormous amount of real-time information. With this information, the therapists can easily evaluate the current scapulohumeral rhythm of the body. This patient had rotator cuff surgery and is being evaluated in the post-operative phase. A measurement was taken upon each visit to the doctor before surgery, after surgery, and at 3, 6, and 12 months. These graphs clearly show the difference between a healthy and pathological limb. In the following charts, we see a band of normality overlapped in different scapular planes and compared to the curves 
from those measured during the pre-op, post-op, and 12 months after surgery. How can show motion help improve quality in orthopedics? Well, in a five-minute session, show motion captures, displays, and records a patient's current joint function. The software identifies normal and abnormal movements and provides a real-time chart of the key indicators of joint function. Surgeons can validate their procedure, therapists have immediate feedback for their therapy, and a patient has an incentive because they can actually see their progress. Dr. Kibler and his team have been using show motion for the past year. He once said, this technology validates my life's work. There are three main contributors to quality in orthopedics, treatment, rehabilitation, and patient compliance. The current show motion device can be used for office, therapy rehabilitation, and for patient compliance. Peter Drucker once said, if you can't measure it, you can't improve it. Our solution for improving quality in orthopedics is to provide objective and common metrics throughout the continuum of care. It's been four to five minutes of setup, and I have an immediate answer already processed for me. So, I mean, how could I not like it?